Hello! Have you missed me? Nah, probably not. Anyways, I am Sotanen Berkele! And today there is something I just have to talk about. Now you probably wonder, Satanen, what is it that you have to talk about again? It's about a word, actually, that I hear people use incorrectly all the time. People don't know the true meaning behind this word and it irritates me and bothers me very, very, very much. I am very triggered, as you probably can tell. And the word is anti-social. Anti-social. And the way I hear people use this word is, for example, people say, oh, I don't like people. I hate people. People are so mean. I want to stay away from people. I am a, a very anti-social person. People usually think that the word antisocial means that they just don't like to be social, that they are against to be social. And here is the thing antisocial does not mean that you are against social interactions. Here is an example of a person with antisocial behavior. Ladies and gentlemen, here's anti-social Tony! I am anti-social Tony. Nobody likes you. Nobody will ever miss you. I want you to suffer. I want you to be in pain. I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> Everything's your fault. You made me do this to you. You fucking deserve it. Domino's pizza, kebab was <laughs> So, who is antisocial Tony? He could be a friend, he could be someone you go on a date with, he could be someone you're married to, he could be someone even in your own family, which would be very unfortunate. Basically, at one time in your life, you might encounter antisocial Tony, and if you encounter antisocial Tony, you better run. You better run. Antisocial Tony, he can never change. He will try to hurt you in one way or another. It is not Antisocial Tony's fault that he is antisocial. His behavior is part of the disorder. <laughs> no matter how much you want to, Antisocial Tony will never change. He will always be antisocial Tony. The only person who can change in this scenario is you. You are the one who can change. A person with antisocial personality disorder may exploit, manipulate, or violate the rights of others. Lack, concern, 
regret or remorse about other people's distress. Behave irresponsibly and show disregard for normal social behavior. Have difficulty sustaining long-term relationships. Be unable to control their anger. They lack guilt and do not learn from their mistakes. They blame others for problems in their lives. They repeatedly break the law and usually end up in prison. Criminal behavior is a key feature of antisocial personality disorder. Antisocial personality disorder is one of the most difficult types of personality disorders to treat. I just want to be clear that, of course, not everyone named Tony will be antisocial in any shape or form. Antisocial Tony could even be a female, like, let's say, antisocial Tina, perhaps. But antisocial Tony is based on antisocial behavior. I have real life experience with encountering a real life antisocial Tony. And I can only say that I am happy that I escaped. Because if I wouldn't have, my name would have been on that tombstone. So it irritates me so much when people use the word antisocial to describe unsocial behavior unless you actually have a cluster B personality disorder then I say yes tell people that you are antisocial but if you don't have a cluster B personality disorder then I say stop it you are not antisocial have a wonderful and lovely day.